Hello lads, um, this is a Mazda 6 2.2 diesel and customer complaint on this one is I've got the flashing TPF light on. Now, code scan on the scan tool only had two codes in the PCM. I had, or I have, P0704 clutch switch, switch input circuit and I have P1 133600 crankshaft slash camshaft sensor range slash performance now it's funny that both of them Funny that I'm getting a DPF light because of them, is it? Yes, I do have a check engine light working and stuff. But that DPF light was flashing away. Can I clear these fellas out? Car sounds is okay, or oh, you haven't driven it now yet, it's just ticking over here. Let's see what kind of fog going. I have the crankshaft camshaft sensor range performance coat straight back. Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to go after that anyway. This could be maybe get out the scope and start looking at these. There is a timing chain on this. Okay, I don't know. Okay, lads, so still on this Mazda with the cam crank uh, code. Uh, the code was, yeah, the 1336. So, <coughs> Pico scope. Red channel is on the cam sensor, which is there. Blue channel then is my crank sensor, which is crank sensor is in there okay so this was a saved waveform that I got from this car now if you look here the first toot of the cam is just coming right on where the missing toot of the crankshaft and then the middle one here is nearly bang on with that missing tooth of the crank and again the same here so the first tooth of the cam is coming down and hitting just the start of the missing tooth of the crank so that was my waveform from this car that I had saved now if I go to the waveform library there's only one other car here and we'll open that. There's only, only one other car in the waveform li library with the same details. And if you look at his, sorry, whoa, if you look at this man's, whoever uploaded this to the waveform library, that toot there, I was back here. And in this situation, he, he is a little bit more forward than I am. I was nearly bang in the middle of my missing tooth there. And the same there. So my first tooth was back there. So we are, I am a little bit different, but unfortunately, look what this man has 
put in his notes crankshaft correlation fault timing may be out engine running on idle so i still don't know is this one the right one or is my one the right one bring it back to my one there again Okay, so that's mine. So, yeah, I need to get a, a really, I really need to get a known good here to see which one is right and which one is wrong. Um, so that's where I am at now at the moment. But that's my waveform, which is very different to the waveform on the waveform library. But again, he states, he doesn't know whether that's a known good. He's not stating that's a known good or a known bad. Okay, let's keep thinking. Okay lads, back on the Pico scope again and this is my saved waveform from the Mazda here. So, the last one I showed you on the Pico library was from, um, he was unsure, he said he didn't know whether it was good or bad. I can confirm now that the one from the library was a known bad. And I'm calling my one here a known bad as a stretched chain because I went on to Facebook and in the Pico Scope group on Facebook, um, someone was asking about a known good for this model of Mazda and year. And Tim Stock did put up a known good one underneath in the comments. And from that is what I'm basing my call on this being out or a slack chain and if I can show you see if I go there his one the cam signal was more to the left here so if I drop down that cam signal it's actually not hitting the crank it's going in the gap there and on his one it was more to the left and when you bring it down it was hitting some of them teeth if that makes sense to you. And same with that one again, that cam signal, the red trace should be more over, say around there. And when you bring it down, it should be hitting the teeth and not going into the gap there. What I can do is I can zoom Yeah, so I'm according to the one I seen on Facebook in the no as a known good that drop down there in the cam signal should be over around here somewhere so I'm saying that we are a slack timing chain or a stretch timing chain in this Mazda so that's where I am now lads call me Okay lads, so the Mazda here, I have it all stripped down to get in at this timing chain. So valve cover off, um, alternator belt off, timing cover off. There is a lot of me bits and pieces scattered around everywhere. Um, and what I want to show you now before I go any further is the time and chain tensioner, I probably have to go down underneath now. So we have the oil pump chain there. But, and that's the tensioner for the oil pump chain. But look at the tensioner, whoa, where are we going? Look at the tensioner there for the main chain. And that, for me, looks like it's out. It's pushed out a hell of a long way. Which is kind of good news for me, I suppose, because I'm suspecting a stretched chain. So I do believe we're right with our diagnosis here. That tensioner, for me, just looks out way too far there. 
and it's all because of that chain I believe is stretched so I want to keep going and get this I'm gonna keep going get this chain off and uh, proceed on with fitting a new one I'll show you timing marks and all that good stuff as well before it goes back together so yeah look I'm happy that I think we found the problem anyway our chain has stretched um, really won't know for sure until this thing is all back together with a new chain fitted and running and up and running see can I get rid of them codes but uh, yeah I'm happy to find that tension are out a long ways anyway so I'm going to keep going and get this off in my hand okay lads I'm in here at the oil pump chain um, I have that now renewed with a new uh, tensioner and guide there's the old ones there I changed that pulley on the oil pump as well and that pulley was a, a 17 bolt on the sprocket for the oil pump it was very very tight so I did have to remove the oil pan and there is a little 27 mil you can hold that end of it through there and um, that was very tight but I have all the marked up here um, and it all went back in the same positions nothing moved on me as the way I took it off now this is the main chain so old one new one on the right hand side I just have it hanging there um, on the hub and just bring it down I think there is a slight difference whether that's a valid test or not but I think the old chain had stretched um, and is that more evidence of it stretching but anyway look uh, chain old chain new chain new chain is going to go back on with all the goodies in that box but at the moment I just have my oil pump chain changed right lads I have my new chain fitted guides and tensioners and all that stuff and uh, I'll just show you timer marks so I'm TDC on cylinder number one and that coloured chain link there marries up with that little arrow on the cam pulley and that has to be at 12 o'clock let's bring it down then to the bottom uh, get in there so at the bottom that keyway at the 12 o'clock position and there's a little dot there that will marry up again with the color chain link if I can show you there yeah there and that's our timing timed up so timing chains both timing chains fitted I'm gonna spin this engine a few times and um, make sure everything is turning nice and free for me um, and I will yeah just carry on and do a lot of cleaning clean up the surfaces for the cover to go back on and all that stuff so I still have a lot of work to do but yeah timing chains fitted okay lads this Mazda is all back together now um, topped up with new oil new oil filter um, next plan for me is to uh, turn this over and start this car now I'm not expecting it to start first tip I'm going to have air on these fuel lines so I'm going to crack on next day and, and bleed the system try to get this going hopefully get this going and hopefully this will solve my flashing DPF light and my um, cam crank code okay that's where I'm at now anyway so I'll talk to you very very soon okay lads car uh, the Mazda is up and running no DPF light flashing now um, timing chain fixed that but not only the timing chain fixed that we had to do a timing chain uh, reset procedure um, and I struggled with that there uh, last night trying to uh, do that um, I'll show you how we done it it was actually Peter 
who done it for me. So that's why I don't have it recorded, but I'm gonna talk you through how uh, this procedure is done. So, <sighs> under the bonnet there, lift the, the cover for the fuse box and this block connector here and that top right hand pin right there. So you would ground that while the car was running, ground that, hop back in the car, press and release both the brake and clutch pedal at the same time. And then this is all happening now when the DPF light was flashing and then the glow plug light would come on and then flash five times that meant the procedure was done turn off the key turn it back on start it up and that was the DPF flashing light uh, gone off so that's very important and what was funny and what was tripping me up on the thing was that the not only the auto data and the oil data were telling me a different procedure using the same pin out there grounding it with the ignition on it was telling me press and release the accelerator pedal five times and that's what i was doing and it was bringing on the glow plug light it flash and then it stopped flashing i thought this thing was done but no the dpf light still flashed so it was peter last night who uh discovered that the two of us went looking on youtube and we came across a chap who uh, was able to show us that. So that's the DPF light gone off, the P1336 cam crank code gone. And what I did do then as well is, this is the recording. So this is a recording of my, oh, better off without the light. This is a recording of um, my cam crank waveforms before I changed the chain and so looking in there so see the cam tilt there was not interfering with the crank signal there at all it, it, it was coming down and actually missing them teeth okay um, so now I'll show you my waveform upload the other one oh no that's the same one sorry this one yeah so i labeled this new timing chain now and looking at the same area again they are I bring them down and if I zoom in again on this area here you can see now that the cam signal is coming down and hitting the crank uh, signal teeth so our timing new timing chain has made that uh, difference there so 100% uh, timing chain stretched, 100% uh, Mazda fixed, um, but yeah, what was a real funny one was the reset procedure that um, pretty, I, I, I've explained it to you there, but I didn't show you live on camera, as I said, Peter done that last night, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it lads, um, for this video. Um, Thanks for watching, hope it helps, and I'll see you hopefully again soon in the next video.